Hello, children. Here in South Florida, we get a lot of cool different species of tropical dragonfly found in the Caribbean as well as in Central America. And the reason for that is because of Florida's amazing placement right around the area that is the Caribbean Sea in the Gulf of Mexico. So air currents and stuff like that and water currents that make the air move can bring either vagrant dragonflies or vagrant swarms of dragonflies and damselflies into the state of Florida. And because of that, you can find some really strange vagrants here, as well as sometimes have some breeding populations established. So now let's take a look at some of the amazing rarities you could find here. The evening skimmer is an interesting neotropical species that I've been seeing more and more often recently. But this individual is especially interesting because of how dark it is and how tinted the wings are. Not normal at all for this species. They're usually paler. The three-striped dasher is another incredible looking tropical species that you could find in southeast Florida. They're easily recognizable by the bold white rectangles at the end of the abdomen, as well as the way that they distinctively flutter around down close to the water in dark, overgrown swamp habitats. So this, what I've caught right here, is a Lucifer Swamp Damsel, which is quite a rare species, but I have seen it before. The reason I'm over here trying to look for more of these is because there is a population of them here that looked a little different from the rest of the ones known in Florida, where instead of looking like they normally do, the females actually look like they would over in their populations in Costa Rica. They have a blue tip at the end of their tail, and that's the color morph I'm trying to catch. So I'm just gonna look at this one a little bit longer and then release it. So this right here is the weird color morph that I was actually right out here looking for. See, she's kind of like a green here, and then with blue at the tip of the abdomen. That's not how a Florida Lucifer Swamp Damsel is previously or at all known to look, but it is how they were described in Costa Rica, which is quite interesting. This individual has a trait I've never actually seen in Lucifer Swamp Damsel, which is having like these black spots on S9, which is that the second to last tail segment. That's an odd trait for this species. It just shows how highly variable they are. And I have actually, out of all of these that I've seen today so far, I've not seen a single female that looks anything like how I'm used to seeing them here. Check this out. These two dragonflies right here are both female garnet gliders. You can tell these are females, not only because of the terminal appendages, but also because the wing marking at the base is more of a golden color rather than that dark brown, dark red, or black marking on the males. And also the females are more of this orange color overall on the body. The males can be this orange color, but most of the time, with age, either become purple or bright red. Beautiful, tropical rarity that you could find in South Florida. So that other female took off, but I did manage to catch this beautiful female right here. Check out that wing tinting. Her wings are like an amberish tint Especially at the base, you can see that golden marking. There's her face, a little bit of purplish color on the fronds. Not as much as a male. Males would have basically an entirely purplish face. And that abdomen shape is pretty distinctive for the genus Tariffula. Gorgeous specimen. You know you've handled the dragonfly the right way, when after you release it, it lands at a nearby perch, like nothing even happened. She wasn't even distressed. So this right, this beauty right here, 
is a pale green darner. This is an incredibly rare species, though it seems to be increasing in population in South Florida, probably from populations from the Neotropics. Very light green coloration with those distinctive pale legs and pretty short wings for a darner. It's a pretty small species of darner, but still overall large dragonfly. This guy here is an exciting find. I still, I can't believe it, what I'm looking at right now. This is an Aztec glider. This, I'm sorry for the shaky camera, I'm just really excited. But uh, this guy's never, ever been reported anywhere in eastern Florida. Uh, these guys are only known from Florida from a single population in, I believe, Hillsborough County. If I'm incorrect, I'll put that down below. Um, yeah, very extremely, extremely rare species that I did not expect to come across at all on this trip. And a super special find. I'm going to try and catch it. Able to catch this Aztec glider right here. This is a female. You can tell because her cerci are extremely short. And she does not have epiprox or paraprox, which are extra appendages at the tip of the abdomen. Aztec gliders have an unmistakable abdominal pattern that's black with these orange rings around it. Nothing else in the area looks like this. Actually, I can't even say in the area because this has never been reported in the area before, ever. But nothing else really looks like this species. And you can also see it's a very close relative to a species that I also discovered in the county I'm in right now. The Garnet Glider. They're in the same genus. And they also have basically the same wing pattern. But this species is much, 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 and I have to say much, as many times as possible, rarer than Garnet Glider is. Let's take a look underneath her real quick. Just look at this thing. Absolute beauty of a dragonfly.